What's up YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today I'm going into my MSD Pro Billet ready to run distributor. Um, basically I was going to do a video I have already started it for the install of the distributor but there are changes that I want to make to it because this distributor comes installed with heavy springs and uh, vacuum advance and mechanical advance and I want to change those things up. I've already went ahead and did the vacuum advance delete because I don't need that and they come with an install plate to delete that as well as I need to change out the springs and the bushing because I it's set up for the mechanical advance to come in at like 4500 rpm and that's really late um, I want my power all down at the beginning right after idle I need full advance so that's what I'm looking for and MSD provides you with different bushings and uh, spring weights and stuff so you can swap it out to get the desired uh, advanced curve that you want so that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, now to explain why I'm doing this is because my engine for the Camaro is unbalanced so I can't be running this thing at 6500 or 7500 rpm I'm gonna be maxing out at like 6000 maybe 5800 rpm so I want my full advance way before that uh, my torque converter my rear end um, my timing, my cam, it's all specific to lower RPM before 6,000. So I don't need my uh, mechanical advance kicking in up close to 6,000 RPM because it's useless. So I need it to kick in right, bef uh, right after idle basically so I can get all that power right then and there. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, please just drop it down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, I'll show you the springs, the bushings, explain them to you, what they actually do and all of that. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let's get into this. Okay, YouTubers, so I'm gonna go over initial timing first, mechanical timing, and then total timing. So initial timing is when you drop your distributor in, you get the engine running at idle, whatever you want it at. Let's say you have it set up at 10 degrees initial timing. So at idle, it's running at 10 degrees advanced timing. And then you have your mechanical advance, since I've already deleted my vacuum advance canister, which they supply you with the block off plate. The mechanical advance uses these springs, a bushing located underneath the weights. And uh, depending on what you install there, depending on the springs and the bushing, that will determine what your um, mechanical advance will be and when it will advance depending on the RPM by determining what uh, springs you use. And then you have your total timing, which is the 10 degrees initial that you started off with, and let's say another additional 26 degrees with your mechanical advance, that making a total of 36 degrees total timing. And that's what I'm looking for, anywhere from 34 to 36 degrees total timing. And then running 10 degrees initial timing is a little low. If you want it rowdy off the step, you want it to be a little bit higher. So with the supplied bushings and springs and everything that they provide, the highest I could actually do is I think 14 degrees initial timing, which I want more than that. So I have actually went ahead and ordered some specialty bushings in order to run more initial timing and less mechanical advance. So I won't get into all that, but I will show you what they supply you with as far as the springs and bushings. So right now in it, it has a blue stop bushing and two silver heavy springs. And the heavier the spring, the later the advance curve kicks in. So if I have two heavy silver springs installed in here, right here, then it shows you that two heavy silver springs will kick in at roughly 48, 45 to 4,800 RPM, and that's really high. Like I said, I want mine as low as possible, right above idle, so I'm gonna be going with two light silver springs, which will kick the total advance in around 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. So at idle, I'll probably have around 18 degrees timing, or if I'm, I'm gonna install a 10 degree bushing. Okay, let me talk about these stop bushings real quick. These little machine pieces are stop bushings and they 
are located inside or underneath the weights held in by this lock nut right here. And you install whichever one fits your needs the best. The black one allows a maximum of 18 degrees of mechanical advance. And then the smaller you go, more it allows. So it'll allow 18, 19, 21, 23, and 25, or the red is 28. Uh, the blue one is installed, so the blue one is 21 degrees total mechanical advance, but I don't want that much mechanical advance. I want as much initial advance without having to actually lock this out. You can remove the weights and springs and everything off of here, rotate it 90 degrees, and it locks it out. So I could drop this in at 34 degrees, and my initial timing and my total timing would just be 34 to 36, whatever I set it at. But that's hard on startups, so I want it a little bit easier, but I don't want to go too low with the initial timing. And then the springs are going to allow you to change when that kicks in, like I was stating earlier. Depending on the mixture of springs that you use, whether you use a light uh, silver with a light blue, you get a certain RPM range that it, the mechanical advance kicks in, or if you use two light silver springs or two blue silver springs, it's all going to determine when your mechanical advance actually kicks in. And then the bushing is what stops uh, your maximum mechanical advance. I actually ordered a company, FBO I believe, actually makes bigger bushings because the bigger than the smaller amount of mechanical advance you get. I'm getting a 10 degree and a 14 degree. So if I install the 10 degree lockout bushing, then I will only get 10 degrees of mechanical advance. That allows me to run at 24 or 26 degrees initial timing, if that makes sense. If any of this is confusing you, please let me know and I'd be happy to uh, explain it better or at least try. So the springs, once again, that allows you to determine when you want your mechanical advance to kick in. The bushing, allowing you to control how much mechanical uh, advance you're going to actually be running. And then, like I showed you, you can delete the vacuum canister on this distributor with this lockout plate. Or if you just wanted to run with the distributor locked out, meaning that you just install this, set your timing at whatever you want, uh, and that's what it'll run at at all times, whether you're idling or on acceleration. And that is done by removing these springs, the weights, and everything, lifting the center, rotating it like 90 degrees and putting it back at, down and locking it. So nothing's thrown out. There's no mechanical advance, no vacuum advance, no nothing. So you just run the same timing at all times. So that's what's supplied. And uh, most likely I'll be running with the two light silver springs. And then once my larger bushings get in, I'll, I'll decide whether I want to run a 10 degree or a 14 degree uh, advanced stop bushing. So if you guys have any questions, once again, please let me know. I know it can sound confusing, but it's really not as bad as uh, it sounds. So I tried my best to explain what I could. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.